Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan. We are here to talk about the Deepcool AK620. This is one of the most exciting coolers na i-review natin dito sa ating channel. Especially that we spotted some reviews talking about AK620 beating NHD15 and Assassin 3. That is quite bold claim na medyo nagulat nga po tayo dahil medyo mas maliit po ang ating AK620 significantly over NHD15 or Assassin 3. And at the same time, this comes with a pricing that is just around 3,250 MSRP pero most likely with a tax nasa around 3,500 more or less. At a price tag of 1,000 more or less, is our benchmark the same? Can this beat NHD15 or most of those 240 AIO coolers in the market? With that being said, let's talk about this and for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. So let's start it by showing you how we installed this cute CPU air cooler. So napakadali lang po niyang install compared sa mga deep cola products before. Uh, it's quite easy. The mounting system is now uh, more simple than before. And at the same time, you can just do it alone. So kahit na kayo po yung mismong gagawa, hindi nyo po kailangan ng kasama para maghawak uh, ng mismong bracket sa likod. Dahil nga po dati-dati pag mag ka po ng CPU cooler, minsan kailangan mo ng kasama na magtutulak ng bracket sa likod para lang madiinan mo yung screw. By this time, hindi mo na kailangan gawin yon dahil pwede mo munang iset up yung kanyang mounting system before you will mount the CPU cooler itself. Now that we installed yung CPU cooler, pag-usapan po natin ang ating testing methodology. This is somehow very important now, especially that we are getting more serious about testing coolers. As of now, gumagawa po tayo ng CPU cooler roundup. We are uh, testing a lot of AIOs, air coolers, maybe around 30 as of now. Ang natatapos pa lang po natin is around 10. So that is a quite a tedious task dahil nasa uh, one week na po tayo ng retesting. So ibig sabihin, we've been doing a lot of testing previously, especially nung ECQ. Medyo nispend po namin yung pagtitest ng mga different coolers, implementing different kind of testing methodologies. Pero as of now, we ended up with two is set up that is uh, using the noise normalized method that is introduced by Gamer Nexus and other tech reviewers uh, also spotted with hardware Canucks and then another thing na max RPM which is the very traditional but I think it's one of the most effective especially here in the Philippines that's it we will talk about more the details ng ating testing methodology sa mismong video ng CPU roundup pero as of now just to give you some ideas gumamit po tayo ng ating uh, open test bench Then uh, we install the video card to provide you a different uh, testing methodology or testing setup. At the same time, gumamit po tayo ng dalawang meter for the ambient since ambient temperature is one of the most, uh, kumbaga, pinaka-importante na kailangan mong i-monitor during the testing, especially kung climate control siya. So the 0.5 to 0.8 dif difference pagdating sa temperature ng ambient, that is equivalent to sobrang taas din or di uh, laking difference especially if you are dealing with different coolers na ang difference din nila between each models is nasa 0.5 or 0.1 something na temperature and then the BIOS is uh, fully configured para makontrol po natin yung load at the same time yung power that is shown there para malaman nyo po na consistent lahat po ng ating test between different CPU coolers Now I may cut it there and uh, talk more about that sa mga susunod pa nating mga testing reviews. Let's talk about now how is the performance of AK620. AK620 with our first testing methodology, we set po yung kanyang pinaka-maximum potential pagdating sa kanyang fan. So max RPM po siya and compared to other CPU coolers in the market, here we have the data. Makikita nyo po dyan na very closely on par po siya sa NHD15 and Assassin 3. There you have na sobrang importante ng ambient temperature. Kasi nga, makikita nyo po dyan, decimal lang yung difference. Pero to be honest, if you have seen with other tech reviewers that AK620 is better than NHD15 and Assassin 3, maybe they are using different setup. 
pero makikita nyo pa rin na decimal din yung difference. So that is equivalent na halos magkakapareho lang sila ng performance. Let me share this. Actually, sa sobrang tagal na ginagawa ko na to, uh, for months since we announced it uh, last year, April 2020, then we focused recently na talagang tutukan to, i-monitor lahat and try a lot of uh, methods, na-realize ko na yung mga ranking ng mga coolers, pero ang difference naman is point something. Those are sometimes dependent na kung ano po yung ginawang testing or yung setup or kung saan ginawa yung setup or kung anong power ang niload kung ano yung uh, processor na ginamit ang dami ng mga factors na pwedeng sabihin natin na yung kanyang testing na si uh, cooler 1 is uh, better or cooler by point something degrees over cooler 2 pwedeng si cooler 2 with different kinds of setup or different kind of uh, processor pwedeng siya naman yung higher over the cooler one. So, yun yung na-realize po natin. Kaya po, pag tumitingin po kayo ng graphs, don't just look at the ranking. Please look also the difference. Tingnan nyo, baka naman decimals lang yung difference. If that is the case, ibig sabihin, ranking is just something that you will check to spot what is a good cooler and what is a bad cooler. Now, with that being said, let's move on sa ating next testing methodology. I cannot explain it further because uh, AK620 po ang focus ng ating review. Pero ito po, ang ginawa po natin is noise normalized setup. Ibig sabihin po, we set all of the fans at the same noise levels para po ma-separate po yung better fan over the other. Kumbaga, parang mas mag-focus kung gaano talaga yung performance ng ating mismong CPU cooler. At the same time, of course, to give also a fair or quite advantage especially for those coolers that are silent and those coolers that are quite, uh, ayun, sobrang ingay na sometimes it's not anymore tolerable para sa atin. Pero yun niya, tulad niya na sinabi sa akin ng ating isang kaibigan tech reviewer uh, here in the Philippines na Boss Mac, take it into consideration that most or some or a lot of uh, end users are located in Manila or NCR na sobrang ingay. Which is totoo nga naman, kaya po pinakita po natin yung max RPM kanina. Kasi, yun nga, minsan yung ingay pa sa labas, mas maingay pa ng malayo na halos hindi mo na nga marinig yung kapitbahay mo or yung kausap mo sa tabi mo, di ba? But of course, kinonsider ko rin naman yung mga nasa province and at the same time, just for the sake na rin, na kahit pa paano, we have a noise normalized test if you want to compare our benchmark with other tech reviewers abroad na gumagawa ng noise normalized testing. Now in here, you will see it differently. Medyo mag-iiba yung position ng mga ibang coolers compared sa ating previous graph. Dahil nga makikita nyo dito that most of those better performing coolers maybe have a better cooler, heat sinks, fin arrays, density, weight, or they just have a better or more quiet fans. Yun po yung dahilan kung bakit nakakapag-crank up din po sila sa higher RPM over the other. So that is the significance of having a noise normalized setup. Bakit 30 degrees Celsius po ang aking ginamit na ambient? Dahil nga po climate controlled yung setup. Ibig sabihin, we adapt the common uh, setup here in the Philippines na most of us are hindi po naka-aircon. Or we will set it to the hottest if in case naka-aircon po kayo na 30 degrees Celsius. Now that you know everything about the installation process and how is the performance of this CPU cooler, will I recommend it? or not. AK620 at that kind of price point we may call it now as a bang for the buck cooler that may fit in almost all of the casings. Yes, the height is 160 mm that is quite just average height of most uh, CPU air coolers. That is why I may safely say that this may fit in almost all of the chassis na standard ATX. Pero please, still, if you buy this CPU air cooler or any CPU air cooler out there, always check kung ano po yung maximum height ng CPU air cooler na pwede po nating i-fit sa ating chassis before we will purchase it. Since obviously naman ang ating CPU air cooler is performing well, so I don't need to say it uh, very loud sa inyo that this is a very, 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 very recommended product. Pero ito lang po ang aking sasabihin. Na how will this CPU air cooler performs if we are now dealing with higher wattage load? Or, let me say, what if 3950X ang processor? So that's it mga kaibigan. That will be for our next reviews and uh, discussion here in this channel. And for more videos about CPU air coolers, 
keep posted, feel free to subscribe dahil ang dami po po nating ipapakita dito sa ating channel. And yes, that CPU Cooler Roundup is one of the biggest video that I've done so far. We put a lot of effort, sobrang daming pawis ang dumanak para lang magawa yung ganyang klase ng content. And hopefully, you will love it. Keep posted for that. And that's it mga kaibigan. Thank you so much.